In May 2017, the world was hit by a digital plague. It spread faster than anyone could imagine, and it was called WannaCry. WannaCry wasn't a virus in the traditional sense. It was ransomware, malicious software that locks your computer and demands payment to get your files back. Once inside, it encrypted everything and flashed a chilling message. Pay $300 in Bitcoin or lose your data forever. Within hours, WannaCry spread across the globe. Hospitals in the UK were forced to cancel surgeries. Businesses in over 150 countries went dark. More than 200,000 computers were infected in just a few days. But here's what made it truly terrifying. The hackers behind WannaCry weren't using ordinary tools. They exploited a vulnerability in Windows that had actually been discovered by the US National Security Agency. The NSA kept it secret for cyber espionage. But when that exploit leaked, criminals turned it into a weapon. Investigators traced the attack to a group of hackers linked to North Korea, known as the Lazarus Group. Experts believe they used WannaCry to raise money for the regime, bypassing sanctions with Bitcoin ransom payments. In the end, the attack was stopped by accident. A security researcher in England discovered a hidden kill switch in the code and triggered it, shutting down the malware's spread. Without him, the damage could have been catastrophic. The WannaCry attack was a wake-up call. It showed how fragile our digital world really is, how one piece of stolen code can bring hospitals, governments, and entire economies to their knees. And if you want more stories of cybercrime, hackers, and digital heists, make sure to like and subscribe.